think there is a housing crisis in Kingston? There sure is. Well, there ain't no use to sit and cry You'll be an angel by and by I got a home in old boy's town That's the place I'll settle down When I get my new house done Give the old one to my son And I'll lay me down to sleep to this world my soul came What you're talking about is achieving some kind of basic change. The only way to do that is through power. Power involves organization. When you're organizing a tent, I think you've got to remember that the maximum involvement by the maximum number of people is most important. Who owns what property? Not just who owns it, who controls it. Who are the mortgage interests behind it? What's the government involved in it? What's your support in city council? I think it's very important to realize there's nothing happens until the conditions are right for us. But until people are angry enough, you don't have anybody organizing anything. The kind of changes that have to come about before a housing crisis, for example, get solved are much more basic than just frigging around with municipal councils or a little bit more public housing. There's some very basic challenges that have to be made to that power structure. The only way you're going to get it eventually to respond is by people articulating their demands and making them very clear and refusing to take anything less. But the governments in this country, all the levels of it, have for a long time acted in the interests of property owners, and particularly the large development companies. And if you're going to talk about pressuring governments, you're really talking about changing the whole basis by which they make their decisions. That takes more than a few lobbies and a few briefs. It takes very, very serious work to change their whole nature. It means making the government the servant of the people. I got more than I can keep Pockets full and gardens deep And I got a home in old boy's town That's the place I settle down When I get my new house done Give the old one to my son And there ain't no use to sit and cry Couldn't afford to, to rent a place that's halfway decent to live in in this city for any amount of money that I can afford. It's actually that there's no housing in Kingston for a man with a family that, unless he's making big wages, he just can't afford to pay the rent. So public housing is the only answer. The only trouble is there's not enough of it. I don't particularly like living uh, in a goldfish bowl, but people in our uh, income bracket don't have any choice. We live in low rental housing. We're not. We're paid taxes. We're citizens. We want to be treated like citizens. Do you think there is a housing crisis in Kingston?
The thing that I would like to say about film is that uh, this particular film is we tried to do it all together. We tried to uh, do it on a cooperative basis. Um, it's something that hasn't been tried very many times. We thought it was crucial to do that uh, to make the kind of a film that we wanted to make. And if you're going to try a film yourself, which is a good idea, um, make sure that you've got as many resources as possible when you start. Make sure that you, you've got help the way you want help. Can't be done about the house in Christ. Well, that's pretty hard to say. Do you think anything can be done about it? Well, certainly, why not?